Sometimes I look back at my life and blink. Sometimes I look back at my life and just smile, man. Because I came a long way, bro. Real talk. And then the shit that I, like a lot of shit that I went through, you expect like my mind to be fucked up, like my head to be fucked up, a nigga be crazy or something. But I'm actually a well rounded, intellectual, intelligent young man, you know? And I feel like the things that I went through kind of helped me when it was supposed to like tear me down. Hey man, it's on B Peasy, man. Just dropped La Paris the album. What's up, Nala? We need to holler about something. Or talk. What's up, guys? Nala Simone here from We Need to Talk. As you know, we drop two interviews a week, each and every Monday and each and every Thursday. Brand new exclusive content from your favorite celebrities, influencers, whoever. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything that we have going on. And make sure you guys just share, tell a friend to tell a friend, drop a comment, show your girl some love, all right? I got one flick. I feel like a boss now. You're in the kid. talking about it on the on your, one of the podcasts you did. Yeah, yeah. When'd you get it? I got that motherfucker like a couple nights ago. At my album release, they had surprised me with the play. I almost started crying on that motherfucker. <laughs> you should have. I tried. That's your first. I'm a real rapper now. Oh, oh Lord. You really be holding true to your lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it, actually. What's up, guys? And welcome to another episode of We Need to Talk. I am Nyla Simone. Today we got a very special guest in the building. PZ is in here. I ain't here. that special, man. Come on, don't I do got it. A very special guest in the building. I'm with like, a very flat fit. This you like you like that? Oh yeah, yeah. Mike Sims. He had made he made this put it's together. Custom? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's fly. Bro be going. He be going to the fabric store and, and like just getting all type of fabric and putting it together. Where's he from? He from like somewhere by I think Arkansas or something like that. Wow. Yeah, Jim. Yeah, bro. Hard, bro. He Thank been making you. all my shit lately. Nice. How you feeling? I feel good. I ain't gonna lie. I'm in New York. I got a billboard in oh, Times Square. Shit. I feel good. I'm happy as hell today. Album oh. out. You getting mad love from the album? Mm-hmm. Everybody in the comment section is like, yo, can I get a feature? I need a feature I'm, one day. I'm, 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 I'm like, damn, yo, they are feeding for this. They want, they want that sauce on their ass. They do? Nah, that shit be making me feel good, though, for sure. That shit make me feel good, because it's like... I don't be like I don't try to like make nobody. I can't say that. Well, I don't be trying to like. I don't be trying to like prove no point of my music or, or make nobody like make nobody fuck with me or nothing. So, and I be rapping about my real life, so it be like that shit. I always feel good every time somebody acknowledges me for my music. It feel good. Like I don't care where I'm at. Like we was just walking. We was walking into an interview. Like four black niggas walk up. Peas, one of them say my name. I turn around smiling. Like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Shit, you know me. That's dope. That's dope. I ain't gonna lie. I be fucking with that shit. That shit make me feel good. I love that. Mm-hmm. I, so you're adjusting to it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But you kind of been in it for a minute, so you're, you're used to Yeah, I'm kind of used to it now, though. Yeah. But it still feel the same every time somebody walk up on me. I don't think this shit gonna ever get old. I love that. Especially at them shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what What's your sign? I'm on queers. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, most charismatic. Is that what they say about Aquarius? Yeah. Or they say we don't take nothing serious and we ain't never serious in relationships and shit. Oh my God. I don't even know if it's just relationship. I wouldn't say that y'all don't take nothing serious, but you guys definitely show no fucking emotion. <laughs> but whole time emotional as fuck. Emotional but, is a motherfucker. But won't say shit about it. Yeah, we got a poker face for sure. <laughs> That's why I was like, um, listening to your album, I'm like, wow, look at look at this. You do love the ladies. I love women. You trying to. Nah, I do. You sound a little conflicted on um, Lay. Lay with, lay with me, yeah. yeah. All right, Lay with me, it's kind of like, okay, I like you. But this is what I'm explaining. I like you, but I feel like if I get in trouble or if I fall off, you going to go and go to somebody else. So I like you, but I'm scared to love you type shit. So you can come lay with me all you want. You can come stay with me too. But I already know in the back of my head if something go wrong, you gone. That's what that song is about. You got to see the video. Ooh, the video is so fucking dope. I don't think I saw that video. Ain't, ain't I saw the rapper yet. video. Yeah, it feel like a rapper. Yeah. I, I, ain't dro- I think I'm dropping this video Thursday or Friday. Oh, the Lay With Me video? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll be watching. But, so, if you feel like she's going to be gone, then why would you date her? Like, why not, because why I, not just fuck with the girl who you think is going to be there through and through? I don't think I'm going to ever find, like, real love for real. I don't that think. Is so why are you saying that? That's so I, sad. I pick. I know. I know. But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. 
I didn't, I didn't, I didn't dealt with it in my mind. I picked the wrong line of work to be looking for somebody to love me for me. Um. Yeah, and you know it's true. <laughs> I'm, not, I, yo, I'm not gonna say I agree <laughs> all the way because I think. I think that maybe it's just the type of girls you're seeing. Like, maybe you got to go outside of your work to find a girl. Then they won't understand my work. Hmm. So it's like, damn. It's like, why you always got to go to the club? I'm a rapper. It's like, why are you smiling at her face? She's a fan. It's like, people don't, un- <laughs> they don't understand. Like, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. It's like, I don't think I'm ever fine. It's over. It's over. My mom, my mama loved me, I guess. Yeah, everybody deserves love though, and I don't want you to be afraid to go all the way in. But I'm scared. I went all the way in before and got betrayed. Oh really? Hell yeah, my heart was broke as hell. I got How my old heart. Was you don't say motherfucking thirteen. My friend, niggas be like, I my friend, my friend, I feel like you ain't no, you don't really like. If you never got your heart broken early on, you ain't no lover boy. Yeah. If you ain't get your heart broken in middle school, you ain't no love for it, man. But are you, are you scared because of something that happened in middle school? No. Oh. I'm scared because of middle school and, like, some shit that happened when I was grown, man. Okay. You know? All right. Well, I mean, you kind of, like, bounced around a lot, moved to a lot of places, so I feel like it's just hard in general for you because your life is unpredictable. Everyone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then people don't take rappers serious. I don't want so many girls I like a lot get in relationships and then get out of relationships, try to talk to me, and then get back in a relationship with the nigga they was fucking with. It's like, damn, bitch, I like the Jew for real. <laughs> he just ain't even take me serious. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just so fucked up to me. Oh, my God. You know, I, that's interesting. I've I've never talked to a rapper, so I, don't, I can't even give you no advice. I I probably feel like those girls as well. Like, I couldn't take you seriously. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. I got a heart just like everybody else. No, no, I'm sure you have a heart. But it, like you said, it's a lot to manage because then they got to adjust to your schedule. It's just, mm-hmm. yeah, you got a lot going on. Too much. But you got time. I don't think. I don't, if I ain't married by like, by like 33, it's over. What? It's I think over. I feel like by forty. I don't want to be in no wedding at forty. All my partners down there. I don't know. I ain't gonna say all my partners down there gonna be dead and shit because forty is still don't young. We just said ninety. What didn't we say ninety? Ninety. Yes. <laughs> forty years old. A wedding at forty. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. You took your time. You know, got your money up. Y'all done lived your life. I'm. A, I'm you. just a hopeless romantic, and I believe in like motherfuckers being married since they was twenty and shit like. 30 year, old, 30 year marriages Man, and think shit. about the bitches you was talking to at 20. Do you wish you was married to them? It was one of them I, I, I wish I would have married. I fucked up with that one, though. Ah. She was cool. I feel like that was one of them ones. Once in a lifetime? It, nah, I don't think it was once in a lifetime, but I think she was a good prospect for, like, marriage and, like, long-term mm-hmm. relationship, though, for sure. But I was just... I was just wild. Maybe Ew. you should spend the block. Nah, it's over. She don't fuck with me no more. You cheated on her? Yeah. <laughs> I cheated on I cheated on her bad too. Not bad. Dang. Oh, see, and this is why bitches don't trust rap. No, I was just Look, I was it, just young. I was just young and learning. I was young and learning, man. Mm. You know. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk about uh, the title of the album, Le Paris. Le Paris. Why Le Paris? Um. Because I always be talking about like like all my other uh, tapes and shit like Lord Silver Love, Too Deep for Tears, Humble Beginnings. It's like all sayings, like sayings that I um that I that meant a lot to me growing up. You feel me? I never really just talked about myself. I always talk about what I go through and shit. Uh, I never showed really too many of my personalities, knowing I got like four five of the motherfuckers. So I just got them. I put all them personalities in in the Paris type shit, like with the uh, lay with me. The jump, the hell yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I like having fun and shit, too. He ain't always all pain, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't give all pain all the time. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Feel Like a Rapper, because that one I feel like is going up the most right mm-hmm. now. That's a, um, it's like, like I said, I named that motherfucker Le Paris. Like, I don't want to be a rapper all the time, so I wanted to, like, shine a light on that, but I had to find a relatable way to do it, you feel me? So, like, I know, I know niggas who... Who, who will put on a chain or something. Or wear my chain. Be like, oh, shit, I feel like. So they're like, spark, like, oh, yeah, okay. 
Walk out with my chains and make me feel like a rapper. You feel me? Like, I, I want to feel like a rapper too. I be feeling like a rapper too, but people don't even know. You, be feel, you are a rapper. No, I'm not. <laughs> what What do you consider yourself? I'm an artist. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I You're good. It. But when I put on chains and shit, I feel like a rap nigga. Mm. So when you go in between, so when you take off the chains and you're just being yourself. Le Paris. What, do, what does that look like? Um... Or do you even get to do it? Or are you are you constantly even with the chains off? People are still treating you as such. Man, I'll be chilling. I'll be chilling uh, at the studio. Nigga coming at motherfucker, bro. I just made some raw ass shit, bro. You don't see me watching a movie, <laughs> bro. Hey, uh, my partner said he wanna do his own, bro. You don't see me chilling with my with my girl, yeah. Yeah. Like it's just like certain shit like that. Or oh, when I go to my mama house and like one of my aunties out there, she hey, what you? Bro, I don't want to hear that shit. I love you to death, but I don't want to hear that shit right now. Yeah. I came up here to see what my mama doing. Feel me? Yeah. And then my brother just walked in the door, and y'all been knowing both of us for us, like, just like we was babies. How the fuck you more happy to see me? And you see him more. He be around. That's what happens when clout and fame and... That ain't cool. It be hurt my feelings. Yeah. And it hurt my feelings for my brother, too, like... You can call my brother phone. He gonna answer. You can't call my shit. So why you, why you more happy to see me? I'm like I don't know. I don't be liking that shit. So I just I don't like being a rapper all the time. Nah, I get that. Especially if your family's gonna treat you like that, because that's yeah. the one place you come and like and be chilling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I get that. But I mean, you roll, you roll with your family. They don't be treating you like a star yet. Yes, they do. Hell, my dad still treat me like a peasant. I come home, I got to rake leaves. <laughs> I got, like, whatever the fuck. If it's snowing, I got to <laughs> I got to shovel snow. Yeah, my family, yeah. But maybe, like, my extended family. Okay. Like your cousins and shit? Like, I seen you. Yeah, they say they see me, but they still treat me regular as fuck. Yeah, I don't get no special. Mm-hmm. It's because I don't got no chains. I got to get the Okay. Chains. I <laughs> bet. Oh, mama. Get you some permanence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They going, ooh. Then they'll probably switch up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right yeah. now, nah, I didn't get there yet. But, okay. Um, let's let's dig more into this project. Hell yeah with T Grizzly. Let's talk about that one. I had to go back to, like, my roots. Like, people used to me rapping on them type of beats, but I had strayed away from them because, like, um, everybody that, that, that I came in the door with, like, all my peers and shit, like, the... The young and age, no, not young and age. He he rapped on more like pain beats. Uh, the J the Young and uh, the NBA Young Boy and shit. We was all rapping on the same type of beat. So I try to like still more into like more pianos and shit. But I had to I had to go back to them roots one time for that one. I feel like T Grizz was perfect. It was, he was like a perfect mix for that type of that type of that type of style. That type of us way. You feel me? Yeah, I do feel like Detroit music kind of. Has a similar sound to like California mm-hmm, Bay type mm-hmm, sound too. Yeah, and I know you spent time over there, so mm-hmm. I thought maybe that would encourage you also. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Detroit and the Bay cousins. Are, is that what they really call? Yeah, that's what they be saying. Like they cousins. That's what it sound like, at least musically. Two wrongs with Kevin Gates. Yeah, bro, my favorite artist. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Kevin Gates is your favorite artist. <laughs> Kevin Gates and Future. Really? Yeah, yeah. So I had, I had to do that one. I, ain't gonna lie. I had to do that. I don't give a fuck if bro got on that motherfucker beatbox, and I would have been cool with it. <laughs> yeah, I, ain't gonna lie. I would have been cool with it. I thoroughly, thoroughly love Kevin Gates as well. I fuck with Kevin Gates because he gonna he gonna be himself wherever you. I like that, bro. I like when people be themselves unapologetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just love that. You guys have a relationship? Yeah, we was on tour together and shit, bro. Cool people. Oh, my, my. I didn't even know that. Bro, cool people. We be getting niggas bad hugs and shit. Is um. You know, online, you'll take a clip and then they'll make him look fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. You understand his crazy? I be understanding that shit. <laughs> People be like, man, that nigga tripping. And I be looking like... Not really. I kind of get what he's saying. Yeah. He fucked me up with the starting the car battery with his bad hands, though, but... <laughs> He fucked me up with that one, but I was still behind him like shit. I believe if he can do it, then fuck it. Anything possible through Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I be feeling like um, sometimes I guess like online I be feeling like I'm in the Matrix, C- kind of like a Kevin Hart example mm-hmm. because he'll be saying something or not even just him. There's a few people who will say something and everybody's like slandering them. But then I'm like, no, nah, that actually, like, I get what he's saying. Yeah, like, makes sense. Mm-hmm. You should be feeling like a Matrix. Two different worlds. I be feeling like it be a lot like, I don't know. 
I feel like them them bots and them comments be steering people to what they want to say. Like if a motherfucker go read some comments and everybody agreeing to it, they gonna go back and watch the video and be like, okay, he got a point. But if you if you go to the comments you read and everybody like, what the fuck is he talking about? What the hell he tripping? Oh, look at his shoes. You finna go back and watch the video and look at everything they pointed out and then make your comment like, yeah, all right, this nigga tripping. Like it just all it's all about the comments and shit. Yeah. If the world agree, people like. People gonna agree. I don't know. I just ain't never been that type of person. If I like it, I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm with you on that one. So the well, the world has agreed that they love this project. Yeah, they like this shit. Well, I know you said we got a new video dropping for it, but I I wanted to know is a tour coming? Yeah, I'm I'm think, I'm trying to tour uh in March. Okay. Yeah, we we round the tour for March. Um, oh, yeah. Trying to figure out who who gonna go out there with me and shit. Do you, do you, I was going to say, speaking of tour, because you have a line that's like, um, my life feel like a movie. I don't need to be an actor. Like, like, what is the most, like, movie type, but this is my real life moment that you've had? It's hell of shit. I don't know why hell of bad shit popped my head. Who was it? <laughs> good shit, good shit. Hell of shit. I didn't been, I didn't, I didn't had like four rooms on the same floor, and I got like, it's a party going on in this room, and I got one bitch in this room, and then my people and them, they doing whatever in them rooms over there, so I'm jumping back and forth from rooms and shit. Between party to seeing your bitch to seeing your friends back to the party? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Is it all parties, or is it really all bitches and you just not trying? Nah, it was, it was all bitches. I ain't gonna lie, it was all bitches. <laughs> and I, I had got caught. I, I come out the room, right? I come out the party. No. I come out the party room. And the girl walking down the hallway, I take off running. I look back, she chasing me. But the floor, the floor, the she floor. The floor it, hell yeah, boy, I'm talking about crying tears, like chasing me up. Fuck. Boom, so, but the flow go like, if you keep running, it's going to go all the way in a circle, you feel me? I got feet on me. <laughs> like, left her ass, boom, dipped into one of the rooms out here in the hallway. Where did he go? Tell him I just want to talk. And it wasn't even my girlfriend. What the hell is you doing to these girls? It wasn't. What I'm doing to these girls? <laughs> well, she's fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I do want to tell you. It wasn't even my girlfriend, though. It was just a girl I was talking to. But she's crying and she's chasing you down the hall. Yeah, but I disappeared on her ass. I went poof. Ladies, we down bad if we crying and chasing me. City bars up 2,000. Fuck, man. We down bad. I hate to hear it. I want better for us. I've, I've had a moment. We've all had a moment. But that... that you had a moment? I've had a moment. Well, you was crying and shit? Crying? I mean, yeah. I'm still a crier, but... You a cry baby? Yeah. Not a cry baby, but I... Like, I'll cry... That's how you know I, she a cry baby. She talking about not a cry baby, but I want to say a cry. I'll baby. cry. <laughs> I'll say like me, me and my man are like, I'm learning how to receive the truth, and even though I might not like the truth, it is still hurt my feelings. So I'll cry and listen, but I won't respond because I'm just trying to accept what he's telling me. If that makes sense. No, I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. You'd rather a nigga tell you the truth or like hide it. Um. I'd, depends. <laughs> depends on what it is. Yeah, yeah, depends on what it is. What if you fuck your cousin or something? Fuck, that is nuts. What if you fuck anybody? The first, fuck the cousin. If you fuck, yeah. What if you? What if he cheat? You want to tell you up front, like I just fucked up, or you want to find out and him keep it real after you find out? Like, did you do this? And he'd be like, Yeah. Which one you? Put? Um. Him just walking in the house drunk, like, baby, I just fucked up. Either way, as long as as long as when it comes to me, like you, you are tell, stand yeah. up about it. Okay, I, okay. Like there, there's some grace there. I feel like every yeah, woman thing like that for real, real. That's why I stopped lying. Yeah, but I, I no one's ever came in, and walked up, and just told me. I, I did don't know that. How I, I did that before. I did that before. She took it like a champ too. Did she really? She was like, I'm, I'm just glad that you told me, and she, cause she explained it like, okay, if she would have found out herself the girl with it then and like hey one up on her like mm -hmm. she was like I'm just glad you talking before anybody else talking. I'm like Phew. So that was it? What we about to eat. No uh, no you gotta go through a little mud now. Nah she ain't put a nigga through no mud. She actually respected the fact that I kept her. She like you the first nigga ever who too 
She just like you because you were rapping. I know. Ain't see, no see, ain't no fucking that's way. I'm just fucked up. <laughs> no, I am joking. I don't even know her. I don't even know her ever. She probably did though, because I left her ass alone, and she started fucking Yo, with another you little. Are a piece of a work. She started fucking fuck? with. A, she started fucking with a little local rapper. So right. she probably did like me because I was a rapper. Man, bitch. Oh my god, you got to start somewhere. <laughs> Aquarius, Patty, <laughs> Patty. <laughs> oh my God! All right, let's play a game. Let's play a game. It's fill in the blank. Ooh, I like this type of shit. All right. The older I get, the less I blink. Beat my meat. Um, <laughs> yo. I used to have a problem when I was little. I ain't gonna lie. I used to whack that motherfucker. Wow, <laughs> five be whooping my shit. At what age did you start? Start? Yes. Man, I was probably like seven, right? Seven? I'm in the bathtub, right? This is how it started. I'm in the bathtub. Seven? I must have got there and wiped that motherfucker. <laughs> that shit kind of felt good. Huh? But I didn't know what I was doing, so I grabbed my shit and just do like this. <laughs> but, yo, that's insane. Fuck. Uh... Seven is crazy. I wiped my shit. That shit got a tingle. Out of- <laughs> he liked it. I'm like, what the fuck was that? So it was, it was that, on from then. Now that you're older, though, you're, just, you're actually having sex. It's probably taking more energy, so you're less doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Unless, unless I just feel like, man, I ain't feeling like. She ain't it. Yeah. I'd be mommy next to a bitch and go to sleep. <laughs> I did that before. <laughs> that ever happened to you? No. For real? Yes. Boring. Wait. Okay. All right. <laughs> Moving on. I can't believe I actually blinked when I was younger. I can't believe I actually got shot, bro, when I was younger. That still be blowing me like, man, nigga shot me. How young? I was probably like, what? How old I was when I got shot? Probably like, no, I was like 19, 20. Because I was already signed when I had got shot. I was like 19, 20. 26 now. Damn, that's just, damn. It's okay, I, I'm better. <laughs> My feet be going numb sometimes when it's cold, but we good, man. We all right. No, we good, man. We, I'm a soldier, man. You ain't got to do that. Sorry. <laughs> that was a lot for me. <laughs> My bad. Damn. Fuck. Damn, you ain't never met nobody got shot before? Yeah, but I don't know. I just wasn't expecting you to say that. That was yeah. I'm saying first thing that come to my head. My bad. Shit, I got shot. I'm like, oh my god, you did. I can't believe that shit. All right. Well, I'm glad you're better now. Yeah, I'm alright. How long did it take to heal? Oh, I made myself heal for real. I was supposed to go to physical therapy, but I waited like until my feet, because my feet was swollen and motherfucker. So I waited until my feet went down and just got the stuff of my shit and shoes and shit. I landed. Why why you gotta go against this? Doctor's orders. Just I believe. I, be, right I believe way. in self. I believe in like self healing. I believe the human body heals itself anyway, unless That's you true. fuck with an artery or something. So like going to the doctor, I try to keep that shit as, as least as possible. Okay. You feel me? Like I don't yeah. like hospitals. I go to the doctor, but I ain't going to them, like no hospitals and shit. That's no. I get that. All right. I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that I know so little about blank. Like something you want to learn more about. I'm a little bit embarrassed of the fact that I know so little about uh, uh, finance. Finance. Mm. Finance. That ain't nothing to be embarrassed about. They don't teach us that shit at all. That yeah, real talk. Like you really gotta go out your way to to to, to learn that shit. That. Yeah. I know. I know a little bit, but I'm still embarrassed because it be like, God damn, man, these niggas getting that. Money, me, I won't be a big and that's so bad. You'll get there. I won't be a big and that's so bad. You'll get there. Mm-hmm. Shit, I know I will. All right. <laughs> Sometimes I look back at my life and blank. Sometimes I look back at my life and just smile, man. Because I came a long way, bro. Real talk. And then the shit that I, like a lot of shit that I went through, you expect like my mind to be fucked up, like my head to be fucked up, a nigga be crazy or something. But I'm actually a well rounded, intellectual, intelligent young man, you know? And I feel like the things that I went through kinda helped me when it was supposed to like tear me down. Yeah. 
And you still have a positive spirit. Yeah, like, I still be smiling and shit. People like being around me still. You wouldn't even, like, expect, like, like the shit I see and shit. You wouldn't even expect that shit. What do you attribute that to? Tribute it. I don't know. I, I just get at the God, bro. Like, for real, for real. I feel like that came from him. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Can't say it running my blood because a lot of my family members that lost their fucking mind. <laughs> well, I, I love that you started the album with God first, too. Sorry mm-hmm. to say that. Um, we're going to talk about the oh, Gotta put God first. I was, I was like, okay, period. Make mm-hmm. a statement. Mm-hmm. Straight up. From time to time, it's good to do blank. From time to time, it's good to... Just sit by yourself and relax with no TV, no phone, no music, and then probably some rain sounds or something. I love rain sounds and ocean sounds. White, white noises, man. Yeah. Like just sit by yourself. I feel like everybody should do that, bro. If you don't see, if you if you don't feel comfortable sitting by yourself without no TV, no phone, you don't know yourself. Yeah, that's real. Mm-hmm. How often do you do that? I do that shit a lot. I, ain't gonna lie, I do that shit a lot. That's like you're decompressing. Yeah, that's like my, like, okay. I'm not a rapper right now. <laughs> this is when you take the chains off. Yeah, All right. I'm chilling. I made a complete fool of myself when I blinked. I made a complete, ooh, I can, ooh, I can go on and fucking <laughs> on, bro. I made a complete fool of myself when I, when I was fucking with the last girl that I was fucking with. Okay. I made a complete fool of myself when I got down, when I went to jail, Last time I went to jail, I made a mockery of my motherfucking stuff. Uh, I made a complete fool of myself when I, I jumped off the fucking stage and tried to and tried to and tried to crowd down. That damn vape. I fell off my fell on my shit, man. That damn vape. Damn. I'm telling you that vape have you doing some shit. Ah, is it just? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm just joking. You hella funny. I ain't gonna lie, that was go. Cool. It took me a couple of seconds to catch it, but you, you hard, but I, I like that. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. But you, do you be feeling like when? Because you said when I went to jail, I be feeling like when rappers go to jail, it helps their profile. Not that I'm encouraging or like that. I mean, if you if you like a gangster rapper and shit, it, like for people who ain't go to jail and they see like one of their favorite rappers go to jail, like, oh, you really living like that? But man, that shit ain't cool, bro. Yeah. They treat you like an animal in that motherfucker. Especially if you land in the wrong fucking jail. You land to a, in a jail with... Man, bro, when I just went to jail last time, bro, they had me in a holding tank for like three days. Why? Just moving slow. I ain't give a fuck. Didn't care. Damn. Then when I made bail, I made bail. Nope, nope. I lied. I was in the holding tank for like... 24 hours then when I made bail they they put me in a release tank no I was in the, I was in the I was in the pod after I made bail for two days and I was in like the release tank for like 24 hours they got a release tank <laughs> like a tank to be released why don't they just okay that what I'm saying all right I don't get it but it's crazy my personality trait is my personality trait. I got good jokes and shit. People say I got good jokes. I make people laugh. Uh, I'm funny. Charismatic. Uh, I flirt a lot. He's really holding on to his charismatic. Hell yeah, you, you got, got to. Say that. You got to, because everybody's saying ribs and shit. Like, oh, he ain't got no ribs. Nah, it's charisma. Uh, it's charisma. What the fuck is ribs? Charisma, short. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's what y'all young kids are saying these days. Uh, man, how young you? Is? I don't like. I don't like asking woman how old she is. So I just flip it and say how young you. Is. What? Yeah. That's crazy. It's giving. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that. That's that. Uh, that, that a low one got them. Yeah. yeah man, don't be. Don't be telling niggas. <laughs> All right, bleep that out. Bleep that out. <laughs> but Peasy, thank you for joining me. For so. Sure. Just shout out your grandma. Let everybody know where they can follow Peasy. O M B underscore P E E Z Y. Man, go follow me. Get up with me. Talk next time, guys. Peace.